Release. Tonight, a successful test flight that's crucial to the future of astronauts in space. Boeing Starliner capsule now embarking on its second ever orbital test flight headed for the International Space Station. And as you just saw, it was a beautiful launch from the Space Coast. News 6's James Cervero is out at the Cape tonight and has more on the mission and what this means for the future of space flight. And Starliner is flying alone on its way to orbit. On its way to the International Space Station, Starliner closer to the orbiting laboratory than ever before. And liftoff, Starliner is headed back to space. A United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket launching the capsule for the second time since 2019. But this time in space, mission managers report Starliner did not experience the same software issues that prevented Boeing from reaching the ISS during the first orbital flight test. Looking in a press conference after the launch Thursday night, NASA says docking with the station is on target for Friday. I'm excited today, but I won't sleep uh, well until we've docked to the space station and uh, we're in a good config there. So, Boeing reporting two of Starliner's 12 thrusters failed to work, but the spacecraft can still complete the mission without them. The flight control system took over, did what it was supposed to, went to a third thruster, and we had a successful uh, orb orbital insertion. NASA says Starliner will need to dock at the space station for about five days and then fly home successfully before Boeing can be granted its first astronaut mission to the station. Rival SpaceX has now flown five astronaut missions under NASA's commercial crew program. Docking Friday night is expected at 710. Our coverage continues then on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6.